Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Mazafer and uh, okay, wait, wait, let's just get it right. Like I, I just saw the Lion King and it's not Mufasa, it, it's Mazafer. But man, what a great movie. Mufasa's roar, gosh, I loved it. Like it gave me goosebumps. Anyways, uh, let's talk business. I know that a friend or a family member or a business partner, somebody is showing you this video, or maybe somebody you met online, social media, Facebook, uh, maybe they were referred to you and, and they sent this to you. Maybe you guys are watching it together. Maybe you're sitting in a living room and, and this is being played on the TV and uh, this is what I wanna do. I just wanna take a, a little bit of time and share with you our company and the reason why Somebody's so excited. You know, I, I was very fortunate to be the vice president of field development for this great company secret that you're going to take a look at for two years. And then I resigned to go and be an independent business owner within secret. And everybody's going, oh my gosh, why? And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, look, I know that everybody that's watching this right now, you, me, right? Everybody tends to fall in one of three different categories, right? Category number one is somebody that loves what they do and they're looking for something extra. Like, look, I have a lot of people that work with us, right? That love what they do. I have teachers, I have doctors, I have uh, stay-at-home moms or stay-at-home dads or uh, a CIA agent or, or a judge or, or, or um, people that work in community centers or, or with, with religious organizations. There are a lot of people that love what they do but they need something extra. Extra. I don't know what extra is for you if you fall in that category. I just know that we may be a solution. Now, the second type of person is somebody that hates what they do, like hates it. I mean, hating. And, and they're looking for a way to fire their boss. Maybe you're going, that's me. I, look, I understand. So many people are working where they don't want to work because they have to. And so they're looking for a way to replace their income. And the third type of person is somebody that's looking for something bigger, you know, a way to make over 100,000 a year or 200,000 or 500,000. Now, I'm not here to make any income claims or guarantees. I'm just saying that we are a solution for any one of those three different categories. For me, it was number three. Let me tell you why. Uh, I grew up in Minnesota. My, uh, my mom and dad made $30,000 combined income combined and and we were you know a, a, i was very fortunate to be in a loving family but we never had money or finances i was never taught about business or success what ended up happening is is that i saw myself wanting to have more and i got a chance to play sports all the way into the university and uh after i got injured my senior year i tore my acl mcl and pcl and and i cried i cried my eyes out and i'll tell you why it wasn't, I mean, was it painful? Yes. But um, the reason I cried is I, uh, my dream, like my dream was, yes, I always wanted to make money for playing. But the reason I wanted to do it is I wanted to retire my mom. And when I got injured, I saw my dreams literally be taken away from me. And that was one of my goals because we lived in a neighborhood where we always used to hear police sirens. I wanted my parents to live in a neighborhood that they didn't have to worry about that. I wanted my mom to be able to do the things that she loved without having to worry about going into work. And I got introduced to this profession, this, what you're looking at today, by a friend of mine that I had known since the eighth grade. And we sat and we watched a presentation and I fell in love because I, I met someone that was making between ten and twelve thousand dollars a month, and all I wanted to know is, would you teach me? Like, like, would you teach me how to do this? And when they said yes, I, I vowed to be their best student. And so what ended up happening is, is that we ended up having success. And in the last twenty-four years, this is now our seventh company that we've been able to build as an independent distributor. But my first company allowed me to make the finances to retire my mom. I was able to you know, help them financially where she could leave her job and do what she loves, which is helping people with God. But she got to do what she loved because of this profession. And over the years, it's gotten better and better for my family. My wife's been a stay at home mom. My kids, we've been able to pick up and drop off and spend time with them. And so all I know is, is that this business model can literally provide you what you're looking for. So let me just start out by telling you this, is that there's definitely people that fall in one of three different categories. Because in the world today, there's some major challenges, right? Number one is health. Number two is finances. 
Like these are the two major issues in the world. And all I was told was the bigger the problem, the bigger the solution. The bigger the solution, the bigger the paycheck. And so when you look at health, if you don't take care of your health, here's what's crazy, is your health will force you to pay attention to it down the road. Yeah, I meet so many people that have all the money in the world, they would trade it in an instant for their health. And so what if we could find a way to, to, to take care of our health before things go bad? Or if there are challenges, uh, find a way to help it. Finances, do you know how many people live paycheck to paycheck? They're paying last month's bills with this month's check. They're frustrated. What they're looking for is a way to supplement or a way to do something additional. And all I'm here to say is that Secret may be a solution. So let me tell you about our company. It was started by this gentleman, Isaac Ben Shabbat and his family. See, the story goes that they ended up coming to the United States as immigrants. And they were almost homeless in a country. They didn't speak the language. They didn't know anybody. But here's the, the best part is they heard a story about people that were from where they were from, which is Israel, that lived in New York, that ended up selling toys in the middle of a mall, made $200,000 in four months. And this family said, gosh, that's what we need to get home. If we could do that, we could get home. That story inspired them. Maybe, maybe the person that's showing this to you, maybe their story inspired you. Maybe my story does, where you're going, hey, this guy, was able to retire his mom because of a business like this, being able to have his wife be a stay-at-home mom herself, been able to you know, spend more time with his children and have the finances that he's looking for. Maybe, maybe that inspires you. So what I want you to know is, is that the Ben Shabbat family convinced the mall in Houston to allow them to sell toys. But the problem was is they spent their last dime on buying these toys. They didn't know how to speak English. They didn't know how to sell. They called their friends back home and said, listen, we need your help. We, we need you to help us. We're, we're gonna be homeless. 20 of their friends flew from Israel to the United States to help the Ben Shabbat family. Now, they couldn't even pay for their flights. They couldn't even pay them for four months to work with them. But what they did is they served these people every day. They would take them to, to, the, to the malls. Every day they'd go home back to their apartments and clean their apartments, scrub their toilets, make them food. And they would, they would serve this community. And in four months, they needed to make $200,000. Guess what? They didn't. They didn't. But you know what they did? They made four million in sales, two million in profit. I know, right? Selling toys in the middle of a mall. And what they did is they equally split the money between all 20 of these people. 10 of them went home, 10 of them stayed and said, let's do it again. And, and they're going, whoa, 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 we were trying to get home. But they realized that as a community, as a group of people with one common goal, what they could accomplish. And they said, we need to do something bigger. We can't just keep selling toys. And they started talking about where they're from. See, in between Israel and Jordan, there's a place called the Dead Sea. And they said, people come here to get healed by the waters, the minerals, the salt, everything that's inside. They said, what if we brought the Dead Sea to the world, starting with the skin and then going to nutrition? Because they saw it with their, only, their, their own family members. And that's what they did. And that's how the company was formed. See, when you're looking at secret, it's because they believe the Dead Sea was the best kept secret. And that's how the company started. What a great story. In over a few years, they ended up opening 900 stores in over 40 countries. They were doing hundreds of millions, approaching a billion dollars in sales. And L'Oreal came knocking on the door. Pa, pa, pa. They wanted to buy secret because they wanted skincare from the Dead Sea. They had studied the Dead Sea for 17 years and they wanted to release Dead Sea skincare. Instead, they said, we'll just, buy, we'll just buy Secret. We own 500 companies, like Giorgio Armani and Lancome and Redken and all these companies that L'Oreal owns. They wanted to make us one of the 500 or 501. And we said no, but we convinced them to become our manufacturer, which they've never done. And we convinced them to sign a non-compete saying they'll never do Dead Sea skincare. God bless, everything worked out. This partnership happened. And today it's been more amazing than I could even tell you. We've had access to their technology, their manufacturing, and we've created products that literally can measure skincare results immediately as well as nutrition. 
And so what we were going to do is expand. And then we got advice. We started seeing the future through the eyes of a billionaire. You know, through Isaac Ben Shabbat's connections, who was connected, somehow they connected to Warren Buffett and ended up getting some advice that over the next 10 years, and this was back in 2010, they said 25% of retail stores will start to close down. If you don't get involved in e-commerce, in social media, social sharing, social networking, if you don't find a way to reward your customers for bringing their relationships, you're missing it. And there's one model that covers all three and it's called network marketing, relationship marketing. And that's how we ended up switching our model from secret spa to secret direct. So we take it directly to the end consumer. See, a lot of times products, they go from a manufacturer to a national distributor, then to a regional distributor, then to a local distributor, then to a retailer. And then you and I as the customer go into the retailer. And by the time the money gets back to the manufacturer, they only get 20%. The other 80% is caught up in the middle. So what if we cross out the middle and take it direct? Then we can make a higher quality product, offer it at a lesser price, and that big chunk can be given to you and me for taking products directly from manufacturer to consumer. So they get a higher quality product at a lesser price and you and I earn an income. By doing this model, ladies and gentlemen, look at the growth, five million, to then got over 100 million, then over 200 million. We're now in seven countries. Right now we're in the process of opening two more countries. Like in the next 12 to 24 months, we'll be somewhere between 10 and 12, maybe even 15 countries around the world. We will become a billion dollar company in the next five to seven years. Like you are connecting with a company that's over 200 million in sales per year with no debt, no credit lines, no issues, no challenges. And the only place we're going is up. We've had growth every single year.